Eagles. Hey, two, three, four. Squeeze. Yeah. Hey, two, three, four. I don't often get taken out by a woman these days, but it's not often you get a chance to train with potential World Cup winners. And I was happy to be a target for the England team in their toughen up Tuesday session. Even if they do include PE teachers and police officers used to tackling challenges head on. You never know what you're going to face, which is the same as my job, the same as what's on the rugby field. You never know what's going to come up in front of you. You have to chase down a, a robber, I suppose, or stuff like that, which often happens in my job, well, in my patch. Um, you just have to be prepared and ready for anything. England have lost to New Zealand in the last two World Cup finals, but having beaten them back in November, have new self-belief. The training session afterwards, the girls, you could just see they were a couple of inches taller and a bit prouder, and it's given us a real focus for the World Cup now. Well, having already beaten New Zealand in the past year, there's real momentum behind this England team, and they hope it's a force that will help them all the way to World Cup final victory on September the 5th. Their skill level and their success over the last five years is uh, is much better than ours, and it's you know we should be looking at them for what they're doing in the game as as, a, as the male equivalent, and be following them. In all, 12 nations are competing for the World Cup here over the next few weeks, with England by far and away the strongest of the home nations. Ireland could get through England's group if they can say beat the USA. Scotland and Wales would do amazingly well to progress, though, with Scotland up against Canada and France. Wales facing, well, Australia, New Zealand and South Africa. Oh, no! Back in the England camp, every training session ends with an ice bath, and this is meant to ease your aches and pains.